Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a photo collage in brushes and on my iPad. Okay, I'm coming into brushes. And these are some of the ones I've done before. I've done this one. I've done this one. And I've also done this one. Okay, and this one too. Okay, and now you're gonna click add. Okay, and I'm gonna get some pictures of my favorite music artists, but to do that, I have to go into my iPod. Okay. And then I come to my music, Taylor Swift. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a snapshot by putting my home and then... Power. Power. Okay, now I've got my Taylor Swift. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to get my Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani. And do the same thing, home and power. Okay, and I'm gonna do one more. I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna do two more. Freeze frame. And then I'm going to do Round and Round by Selena Gomez. Okay, now that I've got those, I can come back into brushes. Okay, and now I'm gonna come up here. These are my photo albums, and I'm gonna go into Saved Photos, and these are the ones I just took. Give me Gwen Stefani, and then you can drag and pinch to put it into position. And then after you press accept, you cannot do it again. But if you want to, if that's not where you want it, you can come down here and press back, but then you just have to do it again. Accept. and then my Selena Gomez. Okay, and I'm gonna leave some room in my edges because I'm gonna put some edge on my pictures. Okay, and now you get to come and choose your colors. So here's our color board, and I'm gonna come in, and for mine, I'm gonna do a lime green. Okay, and now I'm gonna come into textures, and I'm gonna do a little smoky. Okay. Now I've got smoky, and I'm gonna line it up here, and it is totally okay if you get it inside the picture, because I think it gives it a little pizzazz, you know, a little extra. Okay, coming around. Okay, after you finish this, you're going to come into um, your colors again, and then you get to choose another color. And I'm doing my favorite colors because this is your collage. And I'm gonna do this bluish color. I'm gonna come in with textures, and I'm gonna do a little dotted, these little dots. Okay, and you can like make these bigger, make them smaller, make them lines, and then you can also make them bigger and things. I'm gonna just keep it the same. Okay, come in. And then if you want to, you can come in with different. I'm gonna do two the same. And I'm gonna come in with another color. I'm gonna come in with red. And I'm going to do it on the other two. And you can do as many pictures as you want, but I like to keep them a little big so you can see them better. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in, choose another color, and I'm gonna do pink. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with my texture, and I'm going to do these lines. 
and I'm going to come in on the sides and I'm going to do a, a siding to it. Border. A border. Okay, and I'm going to do two borders. I'm going to do a little lighter pink with the same texture. See, it kind of went over Taylor's face, but that's okay. And remember, this is a collage. It's not like a masterpiece, so you don't have to always be perfect when you're doing it. And besides, artists always make mistakes. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in with a light, light blue or white-ish color. And I'm going to come in with this little mishmash. I'm just going to finish it off. Okay, and that is my collage. And this is how I made it. Thank you. Here is my finished collage.